Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed Origin countdown video. Now, to get to the countdown, we are only 20 days away from the release of Assassin's Creed Origins, so, so goddamn close, it's crazy, that's less than three weeks until we can actually play Assassin's Creed Origins finally. It's been a long journey, the longest Assassin's Creed journey in a long time, since it's been almost two years since it was officially leaked I guess the Empire leak happened so it's crazy to see how far we've come now to continue with the countdown series this is the number six thing I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins which is the combat system Ashraf Ishmael would be very proud of me right now now the reason I'm so excited for the combat system in Assassin's Creed Origins there's a couple of reasons for that now the f first things first to address the previous combat systems is that Assassin's Creed in combat it's never been that great. It's never been bad, I don't think, but it's never been like a nailed it sort of thing. There's been some good variations in times where it's been just to make you feel like a badass, like in Brotherhood for instance. Sometimes they've tried to make it more challenging, but the game has been bad uh, unity, essentially. And it again, it's never been perfect. But this is a time where it's one of those things that's in the game that I'm totally okay with them revamping it completely, trying something fresh, because I don't think there's ever been a combat system in Assassin's Creed that's been like, yeah, that's amazing, that's perfect. There's ones I've liked, don't get me wrong, there's been plenty I've liked, but I'd like to just try something new, try something fresh to make it more challenging perhaps, and see if this actually works out. Obviously, Unity didn't, Syndicate was one of those ones that was just too unrealistic and ridiculous. This whole game is going in a whole new direction in terms of gameplay with its RPG style, so they're trying to follow suit with the combat. It makes a lot of sense. It's cool to try to make it challenging in that way so that there are something like boss fights. There are a leveling system to it. There's such a variety of weaponry and ways to use that weaponry in this time period that it makes it really interesting to incorporate those sorts of things into the combat system and what works against what weapon sort of thing there's things that are more effective than others against depending on the type of enemies depending on the level of enemies you're facing and the variety as such for those weapons like the variety of bows and kind of arrows sure in some ways it is an unrealistic looking combat system in some ways but i'd like to think from what i've heard that they're really trying to address some of the criticisms with like the dodging and things like that and already from people that have played it are saying it looks and flows a lot better than even the alpha gameplay we saw back at E3 this year. So I'm glad to see they're taking feedback quite quickly uh, and addressing some of the criticism that happened. I know when I first saw it, I wasn't sure about it, but the more I've seen of it, it does seem like they've addressed like that dodging because one minute it looks like the swinging real slow and then all of a sudden by actually like dodging 100 miles an hour. It seems a bit more consistent and it seems to flow a bit better now. Uh, the more we've seen it uh, leading up to the release of the game, which is good, which is exciting, which is promising. I am very interested to see how a boss fight system is going to work in this game. Uh, we've seen some of the high level gameplay and there's just enemies you're not going to be able to take on. It doesn't matter what you do when you're really low level. Obviously there's weapons like a sleep dart, so if these guys are a bit higher level than you and you can get up cl close enough to them, you could uh, use a poison and, and they go to sleep and then from there you can just instantly kill them, doesn't matter what level they are. So there are strategies to incorporate, so it doesn't matter if they're a couple levels higher. But talking to Center Strain this past week on Kill Connor Club, if you haven't checked that out, check that out, episode 57, there's like a marker above them, right? And it shows you like red if their level's a bit high, but there's like a skull if it's like, dude, don't even, this is going to be the worst. And some of Center Strange's gameplay is shown where he's battling some high level guys and it's just like, can't be done. Like spends five minutes taking on just a generic soldier, not even one of the high ranking officers or something. So the fact that there's not only a challenge to the combat system, but also a level system to it, there's ways to kind of gauge how it's going to work. So I am very excited to see it play out. Sorry about the lighting this episode. I've wanted to get this episode done in my schedule, but I haven't had a chance to actually film or do any recording in daylight at home. So I've tried to do it before the sun going down, but I realize the lighting's just kind of changing uh, sporadically. So it's really just a bit annoying. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Countdown series. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think of the combat system. Down below, I know Ashraf, the creative director, is so high on that combat system right now. 
uh, and look forward to more of these countdown videos very very soon in the future and again my channel doesn't run any ads on it or have any advertising so if you feel like help me out just head over to patreon.com slash as always top link in the description support me support james and you get bonus content exclusively to there as well as early access to other cool stuff we do so thank you guys again for watching i appreciate it very much hope you enjoyed it if you haven't liked this video do so now subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys very soon for the next episode in the Countdown series.